Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Les Rodriguez, and I am, uh, and I come to you from the uh, from the United States, from the sunny city of Florida. Uh, my my presentation is uh, a study that was recently completed by myself and Dr. Hillary Deshawn from Mississippi State University and Dr. Michael Schneider from North Central uh, University. The, the background uh, for this study is uh, there, there is enough empirical data and uh, enough uh, scientific data that clearly shows that there is an association between personality and health in general, mental health, as well as different disease states. Uh, the literature has shown that personality uh, has a significant impact on the physiology of an individual. And in this particular personality type, type D, uh, study after study have shown that uh, there is a direct impact uh, to cardiovascular disease. I'll share a little bit more about that. Type D personality is a clear predictor of poor outcomes in cardiovascular health and it is a clear predictor of heart disease. When uh, the World Health Organization declared uh, COVID-19 a global pandemic due to its transmissivity uh, of, of the virus, and we began to see how the pandemic uh, was resulting in collective panic, fear, uh, lockdowns, isolation, economic hardship, uh, collective human suffering around the world, mental anguish, uh, and a significant loss of life. My team and I decided to investigate how uh, anxiety and trauma might be impacting individuals that have type D personality. So the objective of our study was to determine whether people with type D personality were at a higher risk of experiencing debilitating mental health in the form of dysfunctional anxiety and psychological trauma as it related directly uh, to the pandemic. as it related directly to the pandemic compared to individuals that were not type D personality. Uh, a bit of a definition, uh, type D personality is a normal personality disposition. It is characterized by two traits. Individuals who are type D have uh, negative affectivity and social inhibition. Uh, studies have shown that these individuals are four to six times more likely to report higher levels of anxiety and depression. They are five times more likely uh, to suffer from poor mental health. Its connection or linkage to cardiovascular um, and cardiology is that individuals that are type D have a higher rate of heart attack. They have a higher risk of poor prognosis following a heart attack. They are four times more likely to suffer from recurrent cardiac episodes. Uh, type D personality is a predictor of cardiovascular related health. It is also a predictor of coronary artery spasm. That is a study that I did as part of my doctoral uh, studies. Uh, type D personality has a higher rate of cardiovascular mortality. And since, 19, uh, since 2012, Type D has been included in the European Cardiovascular Prevention Guideline as a risk factor that should be screened for. So there's clear evidence that individuals who are type D are at greater propensity for heart disease. As it relates to dysfunctional anxiety, dysfunctional anxiety is uh, anxiety that exceeds your normal threshold for stress. It is debilitating, it interferes with your normal life, it interferes with basic functioning. There's also empirical data that shows that it raises uh, heart problems or the risk of heart problems. And it also shows that long-term effects um, are, are in fact uh, targeted in heart disease. Uh, next slide. Sorry. Uh, has somebody got control of my... Okay. Um, as it relates to psychological trauma, 
um, psychological trauma can can be defined as a psychiatric disorder with severe mental health uh, impact um, over a long period of of a um, long period of stress. Emotional trauma uh, can result in a heart attack. It can result in heart disease. Individuals that suffer from psychological trauma are uh, twice as likely uh, to also suffer from heart disease. Our study was a cross-sectional causal comparative study uh, that was conducted on the web utilizing a platform called Qualtrics. The study was comprised of 50 questions, 13 questions dealing with uh, social demographic uh, details, five questions designed to screen for COVID-related dysfunctional anxiety, 18 questions designed to screen for COVID-related uh, psychological trauma, and 14 questions to determine whether a person could be classified as being type D or not. The study utilized 203 participants. The inclusion criteria was being 18 years of age, a resident of the United States, and employed during the height of COVID-19 because we also wanted to gauge uh, whether essential employees um, uh, had a link uh, to uh, to these two uh, mental health conditions. The participants were recruited through a fee-based services and monetary compensation was provided to the study participants. We utilized four measures, the uh, coronavirus anxiety scale, the international trauma uh, questionnaire to gauge uh, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, as well as complex post-traumatic stress disorder. We use the type D uh, scale to determine uh, type D personality, and we use a data collection form to gather social uh, demographic data. Uh, we use a number of different statistical uh, tools. Uh, correlation analysis was uh, used to determine whether there was a correlation between COVID-related 19 anxiety and trauma. Uh, and also to gauge its linkage to negative affectivity and social inhibition. We use odd ratio analysis, independent samples, t-tests, and chi-square. Uh, without going into all of the, the data, uh, our data showed uh, a number of things. Number one, uh, it showed uh, that there was a positive correlation between COVID-19 related uh, dysfunctional anxiety as well as psychological trauma. Uh, it also showed that there was a moderate correlation between negative affectivity uh, with anxiety and there was a significant correlation between social inhibition and anxiety and uh, psychological trauma. Our odd ratio analysis showed that individuals who had a type D personality were 4.1 times more likely to also suffer from dysfunctional anxiety. And these individuals were also 4.9 times uh, greater propensity to suffer from psychological trauma. The chi-square analysis uh, showed that there were significantly more cases of post-traumatic stress disorder and complex post-traumatic stress disorder within the group that classified as type D personality. Our conclusion was that type D personality is a predictor of COVID-19 related dysfunctional anxiety and psychological trauma. Other considerations, uh, we found that individuals who had type D had particularly been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic as it relate to the narrative that uh, we collected. And we also found that they were reporting higher levels of impairment uh, compared to individuals that were not type D. Uh, uh, personality. We determined uh, that uh, and recommend that cardiovascular professionals should include type D personality as part of their screening process. It is already done routinely in Europe, but other geographies uh, around the world uh, should follow suit and, um, and screen individuals with potential heart problems uh, to determine whether they are type D personality or not. Another consideration, we found that a number of the type D uh, individuals that we surveyed was greater than the reported prevalence. Around the world, type D is about 20 to 40%. Our study showed that it was 49%. And so we believe that greater study is, is uh, needed to determine whether there has been a personality shift triggered by the pandemic 
uh, in some individuals. From a graphical uh, perspective, I want to conclude by showing uh, that type D personality is an inherent characteristic of heart disease, uh, who during the pandemic, because of isolation, loneliness, suffering, and deaths, uh, widespread deaths around the world, were four times more likely to suffer from dysfunctional anxiety and psychological trauma. And so uh, our conclusion is that it is very likely that individuals with type D who are at a higher inherent and compounded risk of heart problems. We're also suffering and experiencing debilitating emotional trauma, significant disruption of basic functioning. We're showing signs of inability to cope and are at a higher risk for cardiovascular complications. That is my presentation today.